Hello and welcome. This tutorial will take you through the basics of Chicago notes and bibliography style referencing. Referencing is the way you show the reader where you found your information when writing an essay. There are many referencing styles, but the University of Notre Dame uses only three. APA, which is an author date system, AGLC3, which is a law referencing style, and Chicago footnoting style, which is what we'll be looking at in this presentation. Footnote styles are often used in the arts and humanities disciplines, so the Chicago style is used by the schools of philosophy and theology and arts and sciences on all Notre Dame campuses. The discipline areas from arts and sciences that use the style are English literature, Greek studies, history, Italian and theatre studies. Lecturers from Aboriginal studies, politics, social justice and sociology may also request Chicago be used in their units, so please check with your unit outlines to be sure you're using the correct style. Chicago uses the term notes to cover both endnotes and footnotes, however Notre Dame only uses footnotes. A bibliography should include all texts cited in the paper, as well as other particularly relevant texts that may have been consulted while researching, but may not have been directly mentioned. The University has an online guide to Chicago referencing that you should consult while writing your essay. This guide is too long to print out, but we do have a quick reference printable guide that you can find through this page. For Chicago there is a guide for general materials and one for religious materials. These printable quick guides give you examples of footnotes and bibliography citations. Note that the Chicago Manual of Style chapter number is given for each type of material. You can use the number to find further information if you require it in either the Chicago Manual of Style online or the print manual. Now let's take a look at the elements of a Chicago citation. The main components of Chicago Notes and Bibliography Style are the first full footnote citation, the second and subsequent short footnote citations, and the bibliography citation. The first footnote citation needs to contain the full publication information of the resource and you need to be sure to include the page number. In this journal footnote, note the order of the author name, the article title and quotation marks, the journal title in italics, the volume and issue numbers, the year in round brackets and then the page number preceded by a colon. When that resource is used thereafter, a short version of the citation may be used. This version merely needs to briefly indicate to the reader which source is being referred to, so note only the author's surname is used, as well as a short form of the title, using at most three to four words and the page number. This is an example of how the footnote numbers are arranged. A superscript number is inserted at the appropriate place in the text and a corresponding footnote number is added at the bottom of the page. We will take a look at using Microsoft Word to add footnotes in the Introduction to Chicago Part 2 video. The bibliography citation is very like the first footnote citation, but as you can see by the footnote citation shown here in grey, the author's name order and punctuation are slightly different. For articles and book chapters, the page numbers in the bibliography will be the full range of pages. This is an example of what a bibliography looks like using the Chicago style. Different types of material have different rules and you can find more about each from the guide, whether it is a periodical, a book, video or multimedia, many examples and explanations can be found there. This has been a brief introduction to Chicago footnote referencing. We will go through the details of some of the types of materials in future videos. Remember, you can also consult the official publications online in print of the Chicago Manual of Style. Thank you for watching.